Hello Scorpio, here's a reading for you for 2020. As you can see the cards are already laid out because uh, I was doing this reading in my native language first. First, you appear as Page of Pentacles this year. Very beautiful meticulous energy uh, where you are aware of what's around you. Um, very mindful about the material world. You take things from the earth and you assess them. Uh, you look at them very thoroughly. You know the worth of it and you know the worth of yourself. As additional major arcana you have the judgment so you will judge, you will assess, you will evaluate things. Uh, I also think you are, you're going to make lots of uh, important, reasonable decisions this year. Uh, looking at the past and uh, really understanding the, the nature of things, the cause and effect of whatever you're doing, you're going to be able to make final, uh, reasonable decisions. The theme of the year is Beauty Way. Wonderful card. What it invites you to. Let me read it for you. The Beauty Way is both a path that you travel and a daily practice. The path is where you choose to perceive only beauty before you, behind you and all around you as you journey through life. The practice is where you, can, uh, where you take action to bring beauty to everyday situation you are in. When things get ugly, you act to bring integrity and peace to the different, difficult encounter. When everyone else perceives only darkness, you point out the light and help uncover the hidden treasures. The beauty way invites you to create beauty in your life and to recognize the beauty inside yourself and in others. Stop to smell the roses, take a deep breath, look up at the stars and recognize the splendor that surrounds you. See the beauty in whatever situation you find yourself in and you will receive the lesson that life is teaching you in a kind and gentle way. So, create beauty, invite beauty into your life, see the beauty, especially in a uh, physical realm. <coughs> because the additional card that you have is Curandera of Earth, which is King of Pentacles. So not only you see beauty, but I think you can also transform material world into mm, more beautiful uh, ways. You can create spaces that are beautiful. Uh, you can make this beauty stay with us, with the world, for a longer time by what you do goes beautifully with Page of Pentacles. This is the, the final form of, uh, of Pentacle Cord, Court. Sorry. <laughs> so, perhaps you start as a beginner, but then you are really, really advanced in whatever you're doing. This year, in a sketch, uh, in a short view, we have the star. The next major arcana is the moon. So, they come together as lights. Then we have four of earth, four of pentacles, so again pentacles are present, and Adelita of water, which is a uh, knight of cups, and I think it's you, and the way you remember about yourself, the way you uh, love yourself, you tend to yourself, I think um, you're going to create order, you're going to need a safe place this year for you in order to feel good, and I always say remember with four of pentacles, if you create a shelter, a stable place for yourself, remember not to stay too long there, not to close yourself too much, because then it may become a grave for you. Um, you are guided by different lights. The star, that uh, is of course a sign of hope, but most of all it shows you what is your gift to the universe. So you may know how can you contribute to... Uh, to create a more beautiful uh, place here on earth. 
But you also have the moon, which indicates that intuition is uh, very important here, and that you may also uh, look for answers in dark places. The moon uh, is the night. Uh, it's a place where there is there is darkness, and we don't really see what's going on. So there may be periods of darkness this year for you. And perhaps that's why you want to build a shelter, a stable place for yourself, because that's where you can rest, that's where you can feel safe. So generally, uh, I think the air is full of searching things under the lights and creating uh, some safety. But uh, I would be very careful uh, because, to tell you the truth, there's lots of fear in this reading, in some places. I see lots of fear. Um, and fear creates, fear is the opposite of love. And it creates uh, attitude that is not not the best possible uh, attitude and it doesn't grant best possible possible results the main lesson that you have this year is eight of swords and that's the first sign of of fear of thinking that is not really nurturing to you as you can see on the picture the girl here she doesn't really know what's going on because she's blindfolded and of course, her ties are very loose. She can get them removed in every moment, even using the sword. But the situation here is different. She's afraid to use the sword. She only thinks that sword is something that makes her stuck in a place. She cannot use thoughts, because swords are thoughts, to free herself. They are, they are here because she's trapped by it. So how to change this? I would say that the main lesson is how to change your mind from your foe into your ally. Here we have a different situation. This, pe this person is also surrounded by swords in a way. But the place is peaceful. The place is safe. Again, safety. Four. Number four is about stability and structure. Here we have... Uh, control that is exaggerated. Here, there is a place of peace. And in your mind, there is a place of peace that you can find, usually through meditation. This is a meditation card. So try to balance your mind this, uh, this year. This is your greatest lesson this year. Make your mind your friend, your ally. What is the challenge? The challenge is the King of Swords. It may be a person in your life, uh, usually mm, it may be an air sign, but it doesn't have to be really. Because uh, tarot cards are not very much connected to sun signs. It may be Aquarius, Gemini, and or Libra, but it doesn't have to be. It's someone who appears as King of Swords, who is very aloof, thinking, thoughtful, uh, analytical, <coughs> judging, making decisions, and these are all uh, pros. But if we see the dark side of King of Swords, we see someone who is not feeling anything. And thus his decisions are heartless. So there may be a person in your life that acts like that. But what I feel is that it's you. This is you. And your mind... That may be working very, very well, high efficiency, great intelligence and brilliance. But when there is fear, 
it can be very destructive. The decisions you make may be heartless because of fear that you feel and you don't want to feel it. Whatever you're doing, you do it to feel safe, to feel stable, to create a sanctuary of some kind where you can hide. Be careful with that. As I told you, be careful for it not to become your tomb. Where you are alone. What to do with this challenge? Well, be like Page of Cups. Be more like Page of Cups. Innocent. Trusting. Vulnerable, yes. Vulnerable. And I know it may be terrifying to be vulnerable, but it's only when you don't recognize your own strength, when you don't recognize your own ground was, or whatever you call it, how powerful you are. It's only then when you are afraid. And it's only then when you are afraid to be vulnerable. Be more open. Keep that open heart. And trust the universe that it only wants good for you. Even if you don't see it now. That's the challenge. Now, what is uh, your strength? Knight of Wands. Whatever you do, you do it immediately. There is great uh, response time. A very short one. Uh, you jump on things immediately. You don't wait. You don't procrastinate. You just do things when they need to be done. And there is great fire and passion here. And sometimes the fire is so quick that it extinguishes uh, momentarily. But not here. Because we also have Knight of Pentacles. So not only you start your action immediately, but then you are able to continue it. Without hesitation. Without being bored. According to the plan. So, great energy. What to do with all this? What is recommended for you? I have the higher offend. So I would say be serious. Be meticulous. Do everything according to a law, according to a receipt. Be traditional in what you do. Perhaps even conservative. Use institutions. Make things with institutions. In accordance with hierarchy. I think you're going to be very successful with that. What not to do? Well, <laughs> the opposite, I would say. Don't build your castles on clouds. Don't take something for granted, granted until it's signed. Don't think that if you see something, it's already yours. You need to have the sign and a seal. Don't get yourself be overwhelmed by illusions of any kind. No. It needs to be very precise. Everything needs to be precise. Grounded. Stable. Approved. Okay? <clears throat> now, seasons of the year. It's funny, you have fools and two of swords everywhere. <laughs> You're going to see it. In the winter, you have the, the first fool. Uh, so there's opportunity to enter a new chapter in your life. In some area. And you're going to love it, I think. You are ready to enter. Uh, whatever, whatever you start, whatever new chapter you're entering, do it with impetus. You have the chariot here. So, 
great integrity and energy. It may be something that that, were, that was very reluctant to you, uh, that you wanted to enter it and it kind of was saying, no, 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 it's not the time. Well, now is the time. Now you overcome all your obstacles and you're ready to be victorious in this area. In the spring, you have first of two of swords. So this two of swords is rather like, well, I'm thoughtful here. I don't know what to do, but I carefully uh, wonder about it. I look at all the sides of the equation and I don't make a decision yet. I abstain from the decision. Perhaps I don't need to take a decision now. Or I don't want to make a decision. But something is urging you, I think. Your heart <laughs> is urging you to go away from something. But you may be very hesitant about it. Because it's dear to you. And perhaps your heart is telling you, well, I want to go. But your mind is telling you, no, 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 you can't leave it. <clears throat> it's impossible to leave it. Don't be stupid. Something like that. So it may be a difficult time when your heart is telling you one thing and your mind is telling you something entirely different. Summer. Four of Pentacles, so the card that repeats. And it really shows the problem with Four of Pentacles. This card. The Miser card, especially in this deck. So there is a shadow side to every card, and it's very much depicted here. That if you try to take control over what you have, and really uh, have it underneath you, you cannot move. There's absolutely no way to move. And the other thing is that you cannot share. Look at this structure. It's absolutely empty. And it's not efficient because when he's stuck in a position like that, he can't even eat what he's having here. So he will starve. Like King Mid Midas did. Everything he, he touched turned into gold. And thus he couldn't eat. Okay. So. Oh, I lost out of focus. All right. So you see the problem here. That's why I was saying don't be in this situation for too long. Because it won't serve you. And another card that we are having here is the fool. So it may it may say, well, that's foolish what you do. <laughs> but I, I would rather say that it uh, really uh, tells you to leave this stuck position. You need to enter a new chapter. You don't... You don't uh, you won't benefit from waiting here for something. I also have this feeling that you cannot guard something anymore. You cannot control something anymore. You need to let go of something. And this is... Uh, it appears uh, then in the reading, this notion too. It's, it's confirmed later. So be careful in summer not to be stuck in a position where you really cannot uh, guard something anymore. Right? <coughs> and in autumn 
you have page of pentacles so this card also reappears he knows what he's having as i said a very meticulous energy knowing uh, your worth and things around you and two of swords again like what to do with that, with this energy? What to do with the things that I have? You may have some difficulty. Where is my autofocus? Sorry, guys, I need to stop and start again. Yeah, <laughs> okay. You, you may have the feeling that you don't know what to do with material things that you have. Yeah, now that I have it, I don't know what to do with it. Perhaps it's it's saying, okay, I don't need to make a decision now. I will, I will make a decision later. It may also indicate that you should listen to yourself. And uh, don't let external influences to show you your way. Okay? Two more things before I go here. Your guide is a stag this year with uh, beautiful, powerful antlers. A stag. Let me read it <coughs> for you. Trust and thrive. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory with grace and majesty. And the message is that you have an opportunity to thrive. Trust in all that you have to offer, all your gifts, strength and power, and make most of it. You were born to lead, and this can only become reality when you are willing to put yourself in that position. Stag energy allows you to feel safe because the antlers keep away anything that could interfere. Look at this. Her. With your intelligence and presence. And their strength gives you the power to be agile in your thinking. You are being encouraged to retain your dignity and be proud of who you are and all that you've accomplished. This in turn will give you even more power to thrive. Onwards and upwards. Hmm? So stand in your power, really, this year. Don't be afraid. You are powerful. And the other card. What heals you? Honoring your energy heals you this year. I love it. I really love this deck. Look at this. It's wonderful. The colors. The lines. Okay, we all have those days when we are disinclined to do anything. We try all sorts of mental tricks to talk ourselves into doing what we should be doing. Does this ever work? No. We end up feeling guilty, a very low vibration, for not getting anything done, which causes us to try twice as hard the next day, which causes us to get overwhelmed and exhausted, which then leads to becoming caught up in a vicious cycle. Your body has rhythms just like everything else on this earth does. Flowers, trees, plants and the elements. The tides ebb and flow. The sun and moon rise and set. Animals hibernate. And flowers grow, bloom and go dormant. You need to listen to the inherent cycles within you. Rest when you need to. Work when you need to. Don't try to outthink the natural rhythms. Go easy on yourself and reserve judgment. You are your own harshest critic. And being your own harshest critic is a real danger that I feel uh, this year, that you may, by this criticism, by judging yourself, you may get yourself trapped in a vicious circle of some expectations towards you that will then push you into doing something that you will regret. I really, uh, I really feel that. So be very careful with your thoughts and with your expectation towards yourself. I will, I will, I will talk about it here at the end. But first, 
uh, how's your material life? Work, career, success, etc., etc. Body, uh, resources. It's great. It looks great. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunity appearing. Uh, new possibilities. Something that, when taken care of, will bloom and grow into into something really, really great. You have justice together with it, so I think you're going to be uh, very se serious about it and willing to tre transform this ace into something, into something more. And you also have Knight of Swords, so you may be uh, very active about it, perhaps even uh, too active sometimes, perhaps uh, too quick. <laughs> in your judgments and decisions but overall I think this justice will balance things out and uh, make it really really work and really serious for you then we have um, your emotions feelings uh, your relationships love in your life the first card you have is the Sun which is great because it talks about success and clarity in whatever you're, you're doing. So no matter what is your current status, um, I think uh, you're going to be very aware of what's going on. And probably you will feel that it's okay what's going on. Not too many uh, cups cards in your reading, <laughs> generally. Lots of swords and lots of pentacles and lots of swords especially here. Um, I think you have a very clear mind and perhaps you you are free of second thoughts, I think, this year. If you make a decision, well, you make it and you know what you want. Queen of Swords, she's very down to earth, I would say, in those matters. She's been through a lot. She's seen a lot. Uh, so no excuses now. Something that I hear. No excuses. No prisoners. Whatever needs to be done is done. And I'm, I'm I'm done with something. I'm done with second thoughts. I'm done with dubious mind. You may end up alone. If you feel it's good for you. If you if you feel that that's the decision you, you, you have to take. It doesn't have to be like that. But still... You're very serious in this matter. And you have clarity. So I think you're going to be uh, satisfied with your uh, emotional life, even if it's not the easiest path here. And now for your self-growth and spiritual uh, growth. <clears throat> this is the only position that really... Uh, makes me anxious to tell the truth. I don't like these cards. Something, something, something very dangerous is happening here. When I look at it, you see that the position of this person is like he's an assassin of someone here. He tries to <clears throat> he tries to outthink this. Ten of Pentacles energy, which is about family or any kind of system system that is supporting. It is something of great value to you, most definitely. And now, something of great value is in danger. It may be someone else, but it also may be you. It doesn't really matter. The energy is present here. That wants to... I think someone wants to... Take something from this and then be be let go of something that he uh, or she did. Like, well, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. There may be spying on something that is precious for you. But the most difficult feeling that I have here is that I think it may be you who wants to Take something from this for yourself or, and, and that, that's the, the, the feeling that I uh, have after pulling some additional cards. 
that you want to sustain something that can't be sustained anymore. I was talking about it here when I was uh, when the Four of Pentacles appeared. That you want to guard something that cannot be guarded anymore. That you want to sustain life in something that is already dead. And that never works, really. And I believe you want to save something. So it's it's not... Uh, it, the intention may be pure. The intention may be very good. But you you don't know that it cannot be saved. It cannot be saved. It needs to be resolved. The ten, uh, the ten of Pentacles. Why? Because the card I pulled was Ten of Swords in reverse. So it's like you... Something needs to be resolved and let go, but you cannot, you cannot do it. And you had this energy before. That you need to go away from something, but you, you really can't let it go. You still grab it in your fist. And you try to make something of it in an artif artificial way. But I have this great feeling that the more you try, the more dead it will be. And the more you try, the more damage will be inflicted. And be very careful because you may destroy something beyond, beyond understanding. I'm talking about you, but it can be external energy in your life that works this way, of course. But it's present here. It's present here. And it, uh, it influences your spiritual life. And that's why it's so dangerous. I asked what to do with it. And I have the Hierophant. This card appears again. What to do, the Hierophant. So whatever I was saying here is also valid here. Like be serious, be conservative, do everything with institutions in a hierarchy, uh, in in a way of hierarchy, and uh, according to law, according to tradition. But also, what I see here is, don't let yourself forget about something more, about greater light, about greater vision of things. Because the Hierophant, in fact, is connection with the Divine. Don't let this connection be, be severed by something that is material, perhaps by materialistic values. Even if you think and believe and feel that it's very precious, of course it is. But is it more precious than your soul? Ask yourself this. And only then make decisions about it. There is there is re real spiritual danger here to destroy something beyond, beyond understanding, beyond comprehension. What not to do? Don't try to win no matter the cost. That's what I feel here. Perhaps that's why you... You need to let go of something. Even if you feel that someone dangerous is making an attempt on something very precious to you and then gets away with it, still the best way to cope with it may be to let it go. Because if you don't, you can be hurt very much. You, you can be hurt. That's why I'm so anxious about it. It's not... Well, it appears here for a reason. It appears here for me to read it to you. And perhaps when you know this, you're going to be prepared. And you will be able to act in a very wise manner. And this is the way to save yourself from this. 
Because, you know, sometimes things in the reading appear to be avoided. Remember that this is energy, the potential appearing here, right? What you do with this potential is essential, absolutely essential. And sometimes things appear in order for us to avoid them. Some readings are there not to be fulfilled. And that's great opportunity that we have, that we can avoid things if we if we know about them beforehand. That's why it appears here. And that's why it's so precious, too. So, dear Scorpio, uh, be more trusting, is what I hear. Trust in the universe. Trust in your connection to the divine. Remember also about this. You're not alone. Right? I prefer this Hierophant, because he knows that he's not alone. He's never alone. He has this divine light above him that is working for his greatest good. I believe this reading is also for your greatest good, no matter how difficult the, the themes appear. Uh, I wish you a wonderful year. I wish you the year of beauty way and creating beautiful things and uh, understanding your place in the universe and making the most of it. Uh, please be healthy, be wealthy, <laughs> be happy, dear Scorpio. Thank you very much, and I see you in the next readings. Bye-bye.